Let's take a look at uh, finding the mean, standard deviation, and variance of a um, discrete random variable uh, probability distribution. So let me go make up one. Okay, so we got our x values here, and I'll put our p of x here. Okay, so 0 through 5 for those, and then 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.05, 0 0.40, 0 0.10, 0 .10, and what's that add up to? 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. <coughs> there. Now let me double check that. I'll sum these up. Should equal 1. Yes, it does. Okay. So we got our probability distribution here. Well, let's find the mean of it. Well, um, our formula for the mean is um, we take x times p of x, uh, so x times the probability, and then the sigma here means we sum it together. Okay, so um, here I'm going to have x times p of x. So on this one, I'll put equals, and then I'll type in A2 to refer to that cell, times B2. So I'm multiplying the X times the P of X together. You have to have the equals in front of it, and then press Enter. And I'm going to click this cell, and I'll put my cursor in the lower right-hand corner until it becomes a plus, and I'll click my left ma mouse button, hold down, and drag down to here. Now I want to sum these together, so I'll click my auto sum here and click my little check mark or press enter and that's our mean okay <clears throat> well let's take a look at the standard deviation I'm going to use the second formula here for our standard deviation uh, we're going to have x squared times p of x and we're going to add it together so I need uh, x squared looks like so let's uh... let's come up with an x squared column so x squared column, this is going to equal, x is in a2, and then I'll do caret 2 to square it, and press enter. So again, I did equals a2 uh, caret 2. Now if you don't know where the caret is, you can always do a2 times a2. That'll do the same thing. Okay, I'll click this cell, put my mouse in the lower right hand corner, and click and hold down and drag and that's our x squared. Well it says we need to have x squared times p of x so this column is going to be x squared times p of x so this is equals d2 that's where x squared is times p of x which is in b2 so I'm multiplying those two together and I had, an, I had an equals at the beginning of that and then press enter and I'm going to drag this down, fill fill down. And this says we've got to sum the sum that together. So I click down here below it, and I'll click my auto sum, and click my check mark. Okay. Now our standard deviation. <coughs> it's going to equals, and looks like we have a square root. So I type SQRT, beginning parentheses, and then the sum of x squared times p of x, which was cell E8. So that's E8 minus, and then our mean squared. Well, uh, the mean is in uh, C8. So I do C8, and you could do times C8 if you want, or caret 2, and then closing parentheses. And that's our standard deviation. Now our variance, we're going to take the standard deviation squared. So C10 times C10. Or again, you could do care 2 for squaring it. And it gives us our standard deviation and variance. And our mean, right up here. <coughs> mm, did I press F10?